Good afternoon, students. Today, we're going to learn about the properties of equality or the POSE. We're going to be using some acronyms that involve POE uh, in your near future today. So just like how we have other properties that allow us to do certain things. So for example, we have something called the commutative property of equality that says that we could add or multiply numbers in any order. So for example, like one plus three is the same as three plus one or three times one is the same thing as one times three. Those are called the commutative properties. Um, we have something called the properties of equality. And basically what this is stating is what we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other side. So um, another way to think about this is like when we were adding and subtracting fractions, when we found common denominators, we had to then go adjust the numerators in our problem. So what we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other side. This is similar to common denominators. I'm just gonna abbreviate the word denominator, okay? So if you wanna take a moment and pause um, so you can write down the definition or what the property of equality uh, stands for, um, it's what we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other side. So again, this is similar to when we find common denominators um, you know, if we convert our denominators to something, then that means we have to go back and convert our numerators in order to keep the problem equivalent. So go ahead and make sure you add the definition. Okay, so let's talk about all our different properties of equality. We have a different property of equality for all of the different four operations. So if you wanna take a moment and on the rest of your page, okay, you can write down addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Give yourself a little bit of space, a little bit more space for addition and multiplication than subtraction and division. Um, and we're going to talk about something called inverse operations as we talk about it. But if you want to go ahead and pause and take a moment to set up the rest of your page like this. All right, so let's get into what the properties of equality are. So we have something called the addition property of equality or APO if we wanna abbreviate addition property of equality. The addition property of equality shows that we can add something to both sides of the equation to keep it equivalent. So for example, if I have the equation 3x minus six equals five, the addition property of equality states that I could add six to both sides of this equation in order to kind of work to solve, okay? The subtraction property of equality or ESPO or SPO, if you wanna say it that way. This is very similar to the addition property of equality, but instead of adding something to both sides, I could subtract. So for example, let's say I had the same equation, but I had three X plus six equals five. The subtraction property of equality says that I could subtract something from both sides of the equation, okay? And you'll notice that depending on what the equation was, that determines which property of equality we can use. So if we're subtracting something in an equation, we're gonna use the addition property of equality in order to kind of work to solve. And when we were adding something in an equation, we use the subtraction property of equality in order to kind of work to solve. And that is because addition and subtraction are what are known as inverse operations to each other. So addition and subtraction are inverse operations to each other. What that means is they're the opposite operations, right? If you're trying to figure out what plus something makes something else, you can just subtract in order to figure out what is that missing number or what is that missing piece. Same thing with subtracting. If you are subtracting something or you're trying to figure out what minus something equals something else, you can use addition in order to solve. So when we work to solve for our variables, we can use the addition and subtraction properties of equality in order to kind of work on isolating our variable, which we'll talk about what that means in the next video. Um, but this is a way that we can kind of begin to solve our equations by doing the inverse operation. So if we're subtracting, we're gonna use the addition property of equality. When we are adding, we're gonna use the subtraction property of equality. Let's talk about the last two. So they work in a similar way. Multiplication and division are gonna be inverse operations to each other. So I'm gonna write that over here. Multiplication and division are inverse operations to each other. So for example, when you're trying to figure out what divided by what 
is, you know, when you're trying to figure out the answer. Another way you could think about it is, well, what times that number makes what you're looking for? Um, same thing with multiplication. You can use division to kind of figure out what the missing, missing piece is as well. So let's look at the multiplication property of equality or MPO, and then the division property of equality, DPO, like Home Depot, except it's spelled differently. <laughs> okay, so the multiplication property of equality, we will use this when we are dividing in an equation. So for example, let's say we have an unknown, something divided by five equals 60. Well, the multiplication property of equality says, well, if I figure out what is five times 60, that'll figure out, okay, well, what did I have to divide by five to make 60? So I could multiply by something on both sides of my equation in order to solve or in order to keep the problem equivalent. So we use multiplication property of equality when we are dividing. Um, and the last one, depot, let's say we're multiplying a variable and a number. So like we have 4X equals... 20. Well, in order to figure out what X is going to be equal to, we have to figure out, well, what times four makes 20? And the inverse operation to multiplication is division. So I could divide by four in order to solve the problem. And I'm using the fraction bar to represent division. OK, and you'll notice that in all of these properties of equality, what we're doing to one side of the equation, we are doing to the other side. Just like common denominators, if I have to divide by four, if I had to divide 20 by four to figure out what X is equal to, then that means I have to divide by four on this side. And you'll notice that depending on what side of the equation you're working on, when you add or subtract or multiply or divide, what ends up happening is you end up using the multiplicative or maybe the additive inverse. So for example, like up here, if I add six to this minus six, then that's just going to cancel this out and we'll be left with three X because minus six plus six would just make zero. Same over here. If I do four divided by by four, that's just going to be one times X, which is just X itself. So we'll see a little bit more about how this works, how these properties of equality work when we um, solve equations in the next few videos. But as you work to solve equations, I am going to be expecting you um, or your teacher, whoever your teacher is, is going to be expecting you to label what property of equality you are using as you solve equations, because this helps you understand the steps on how we get from the start of an equation to the solution when we figure out what the variable is equivalent to, okay? And you'll notice we are gonna be using inverse operations all the time. So if we have division in an equation, we're going to be multiplying. If we have multiplication in an equation, we're going to be dividing. So um, if you want to leave yourself a note, these inverse operations will be used to solve equations. So these will be used to solve equations. These will be used to solve equations. OK, so what I want you to focus on is what are the four different properties of equality and what do they look like? Addition property of equality means we add to both sides. Subtraction property of equality means we subtract uh, from both sides. Multiplication means we multiply. Division means we divide and so forth. OK, if this is your second time watching the video or if you have a good understanding of the properties of equality, I'm going to give you three practice questions. OK, um, because this is more kind of terms rather than story problems or word problems, your practice questions are going to look like the following. Okay. So number one is which property undoes division? So which property would we use if there was dividing going on in an equation? Write an example of an equation that would need the depot property to solve. Okay. So you can go back and look at my example and write a similar example. Um, and then what pos are needed to solve in this equation. So there's actually two pose that are needed. Um, I'm looking for to see if you could name at least one of them, but if you can, you can check in the um, answer document, or I'm sorry, in the table of contents, the answer key to see what the other one is as well. So there's two pose that are needed, which two are needed in order to solve this equation. Okay. So when you are done, Make sure you check your answers in the table of contents um, and make sure you keep this particular page in your notes handy or accessible because you might need to reference it as we start to learn how to actually go forth and solve for those missing pieces in our equations. I hope you have a great day. See you soon.